thanks for tuning in and welcome to the channel. So I've sort of gone Honda over the last three months. I've got that little CT125, I've got those Honda Forza 350. A couple of days back I just bought this CRF 300L. So uh, pretty happy about that. I had to wait six months to pick up this bike. So I think we'll light her up and show the clock reading. And the clock reading comes in on this bike at four kilometres. So overall, like I said, waited six months to get hold of it. Pretty happy at this stage that I've actually got it and I can get out and test it. And if you'd like to sub or join the channel and uh, see what I get up to on this bike, by all means, hit the subscribe button. If you like the videos, hit the like. And uh, first off today, I'm going to do a uh, an oil drop in this car. Uh, first off today, I'm going to do an oil drop and then fit a magnetic sump plug. I've done this to the other two bikes, the Forza and the uh, CT125, and I think to start off from scratch, I'll put it on this one too before I get out in the scrub and give the bike a bit of a workout. So that's the plan at the moment, drop the oil. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty simple job to do it, so let's get under and take a look. So first off, see this uh, plug here, don't touch that one because I'm pretty sure that goes up into the timing chain area or something in that area to get you into trouble. Go to the back here and see that 12 mil there on uh, standing up in front of the bike, be on your left hand side or just down from your kickstarter as you can see there. That's the one you're going to undo. So one good thing about this bike, it's got good ground clearance and it's easy to get there and drop the uh, sump plug out. And there's a plug there which I won't be using anymore. I'm going to put a magnetic in and these are the magnetic plug on whipping in there now. So there she is. So uh, like I said, really easy job on one this because of the ground clearance and uh, you can't complain there. So there we have a quick look at the plugs. You've got the factory on the right and you've got the magnetic one I purchased on the left. So guys, all I'm doing now is putting the original factory oil I got with the bike back into it and after that I'll run the 300L for probably 500 kilometres and then do another oil drop and in that case I might actually put a new filter in it while I'm at it. Like I said, I'd been waiting around about six months for this bike to arrive so while I was waiting, doing the waiting period I decided to buy a few accessories for it because I do plan on taking this chariot down along the uh, bridle track down near Baths. So uh, I contacted B&B off-road, decided to buy a few of their items off them because here in Australia they've got a reputation of supplying very good riding accessories. So I bought the uh, alloy sump guard over here to the right, which I thought that looked pretty good, really well made. Look at the welding on it, really nice. So I picked that up, uh, I decided then to go for the rear rack, I'll we'll just swing over it and have a bit of a look. Might just zoom in and we'll see if we can pick her up. Look at the quality on that. So I figured apart from the rear rack I might as well have a tray to put it on because I'd have a better platform after that to uh, carry me stuff like if I want to take the drone out and put it on or few of the other items so when you look at that platform and I'll swing the camera back up here zoom out a bit when you look at the like so gives me a nice little area there and last but not least I decided to go for the tail tidy because these bikes have got a fairly shocking rear end on them or plastic hanging over it something so you might as well get it something like a tail tidy set the number plate up higher and like it lives up to its name, the tail tidy, it looks that much better at the back. So I think shortly I'll do all these uh, fitting of the accessories and then I can uh, get out, give it a bit of a hit in more rougher country with the, set, with the feeling of sort of more security that nothing's going to get smashed up underneath the bike. Just before we sum up and finish this off for the day, I just thought I'd have a look underneath here and just show you the, um, you've got the magnetic some plug and you've also got the rear earth magnets I usually sit on the bottom of the plug so like I said I've tried this same procedure 
with all these three Hondas plus the Enfield over there and all the other Enfields I've had too. So I think it's a good idea just to pick up a bit of rubbish floating around the motor in the early stages and also on these smaller engines, especially the 125s, where they haven't really got what you class as a uh, external oil filter. So once again, thanks for tuning in and taking a look. I'll catch up with you on the next clip.